welcome, welcome. This is our Healing Touch Professional Association annual meeting for 2022. And let me share my screen again. Okay. Can everyone see my slideshow? Is that showing? Okay, good. Um, so let's see. There we go. Um, so I am today's presenter. I'm Christine Salas, and I'm the HTPA Community Director. And I'll be kind of guiding us through this next hour or so that we are together. I have a lot I want to cover today, so I hope to get to it all. Um, and I want to start off with a meditation that will be kind of focused on community and to kind of set our intention for the meeting. Um, I will then go over our vision, mission, and purpose. Then a review of 2021, and that is kind of summarizing our annual report that was just sent out. Um, we'll then have a breakout session, and I have some questions just to help prompt you all to introduce yourselves and get to know community members. So I'll break you up into small groups for that. Then I'll go over our new membership levels. Um, and then I'll talk about our member portal and just where you can find recordings of things. Um, we did a survey um, about a couple months ago, and so I'm going to summarize a few things that came out from that great survey. Um, then I'll talk about kind of looking forward what HTPA has planned. Um, I'll talk about any of you on the call that are not an HTPA member yet. I will just share briefly how you can join. I will talk about our local chapters and just how you can start one if you want to or to find a local chapter. I'll talk about our grants and how you can access those. Um, we also have a new referral program. And so I'll share information on that and just in general, how you can help HTPA. We'll have time for questions. And then we'll do a breakout session where you all can share um, self-care, healing touch treatments with each other. So I'll break you up into small groups for that as well. Um, and then we'll have a little closing and thank you. So that is our plan. So our community meditation, um, this is a lovely picture from the Healing Touch Denver conference. Um, this was also the picture that I used for the front of the annual report. Um, I just love this lively picture. Um, so I will let you all get comfortable as I guide you through a little five minute meditation. So again, just I invite you all to sit comfortably, perhaps closing your eyes, beginning to feel your body and the chair that you're sitting in, and then bringing your attention to your feet, connected to the earth. And taking a few deep breaths, breathing this energy from the earth up through your body. Call into your mind the image of a sparkling gold fishing net. See this vast bright net that stretches up and down as far as you can see, every knot a sparkling star. See yourself in the center of this shining net, but know that each of us stands at their own center of the net. The stars revolve around each of us. They shine for each of us. This golden net has as many centers as it has knots that are shining stars. 
this net spreads out to all of us on this call, those that will view this recording later, and those that are part of our Healing Touch community. This sparkling gold, brilliant net is our own unique community. The weaver of our net is spirit, and what brought us all together is healing touch. Let us understand that no community is built at random. No community comes together by chance, for spirit gathers us with purpose and humor. Let us set the intention that our community is accepting of all that wish to be a part of it, a community that allows us all to be open to sharing our thoughts and feelings, a community that empowers each of us as individuals and helps us to grow and shine brighter, a community that illuminates love, kindness, compassion, and forgiveness. Look again at this brilliant net of our community. Consider the light of each star. See how far it shines, how it touches the lights of other stars, just as our fingertips and emails touch when we connect. We find comfort in the connection of this net as touching joins us, it links our energy fields. We are lighted by all the stars around us and we share the light. The light is thought, it is feelings, it is unity, it is community. In this community, we share our ideas, our passions, our hopes, and our disappointments. We share comfort and criticism. We share our work and what is in our heart. Look again at the golden net. The lines of the net shine like the stars. See how they pulse like our veins and arteries as they carry the lifeblood of our spirit throughout the body of our community. These lines carry our philosophies and beliefs. Look out upon our community and see the faces of the people Spirit has brought to us. See their hearts, their minds, their busy hands, and know that our community has purpose. Know that our community is blessed by Spirit and that Spirit will continue to weave our net and that community will always be with us. As we feel our feet on the ground again, taking a few deep breaths, we bring our attention back to this meeting. This meeting that at its core is about community and coming together. And when you are ready, gently and slowly opening your eyes, So I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I adopted part of that community meditation from a woman named Barbara Ardinger. Um, I really liked the net idea and visualization and just felt it really fit for our community. So moving on to our vision, mission, and purpose. Um, so uh, we, updated our vision statement a little bit. So I put the former statement and I'm gonna read the current one, um, which is healing touch practitioners individually and collectively are fully recognized as vital professionals in holistic care across all aspects of healthcare and wellness. And then our mission, we also updated that a little bit. Again, I'm gonna read the current statement which is to serve Healing Touch practitioners and students by providing exceptional professional support in areas of energy education, business and community support, 
while also giving HTPA members a voice and a means to actively participate in the future of Healing Touch. Our purpose, so HTPA actively supports your professional presence globally by being the collective voice for you and all of our members. HTPA supports your healer development through advanced energy education and self-care resources. HTPA supports you in the creation and management of a successful healing practice through business development tools, support, and education. HTPA fosters a strong supportive community for you through community activities and resources so you can share, learn, and support each other. HTPA collectively represents you in healthcare and legislation as practitioners of healing touch and energy medicine. And HTPA provides you with professional recognition as adhering to and promoting adherence to the Healing Touch Program standards of practice and code of ethics. So our 2021 theme for our annual report was thriving in community. And, you know, the year 2021 was a year we all continue to learn and grow as we proceeded to navigate uncertainty um, and new ways of doing things. It was a year that many of us reevaluated our priorities and connecting with others, listening to our hearts, and even practicing self-care became more important than ever. The more we led with our hearts this last year and connected with community, the more we all thrived. It was the year that my heart graciously accepted the HTPA community director position. And I'm grateful every day for the opportunity to be a part of this thriving community of healers and honored to hold this space. This is our 2021 team. Um, so each of these individuals contributed to the operations of HTPA in 2021, and we thank them all for their service. We have Ann Darmstetter, so she's our administrator, Megan Passmore, which is our virtual chapter lead, Amelia Young, our book club lead, Diane Noel, our book club co-lead, and Anya Charles, our social media. So we have three major focus areas, energy education, business support, and community. And these are some of our programs and how they kind of break out within these categories. So under energy education, we have healer development. And then we have the guest presentations that we have both in energy education and in business support. Under business support, we also have technology articles. And then we also have the ask anything tech calls. And then in community, we have togetherness calls, we have local chapters, member in the spotlight, the book club and the virtual chapter, which also kind of blend into energy education, um, and then also self-care programs. These are our 2021 statistics at a glance. Um, so we had 53 chapters worldwide. Um, uh, the amount of discounts that our members received was 1,954, and the value of the HTPA membership was 7,983. The highest number of members that we had in 2021 was 1,410. We offered 81 events and programs throughout the year, and then we offered a minimum of six programs that were offered every single month. So these are the HTPA hosted events in 2021. Um, so we had Reducing Stress with Neurographic Painting with Ingrid. Um, we have Ask Anything Tech Calls with Holly. Revitalize, Energize, and Expand Your Distance Healing Practice with Amelia. The Missing Links to a Full Energetic Assessment with Jana. Polyvagal Theory for Healers with Christy and Bonnie. We had a live discussion with Dr. Shamini Jane. We also had Amelia Young did um, beginning summer and fall equinox four elements mediations. We had transcend anxiety, embrace uncertainty to open infinite possibilities with Mel. 
And we also had authentic business planning for healers with George. And we had a holiday angel card program as well. So under energy education, we have the healer development series. So that started in 2021. And we did three events, depression, anxiety, and trauma. And these were our panelists that we had on those calls that shared their expertise and knowledge with us on working with clients with these issues. Um, and so I wanted to take a moment to thank all of these people here um, for volunteering their time to, to do that with us. If you haven't seen these, they are recorded um, and you can find them in the member portal. Under community, we have our member in the spotlight series. And these were all our members that we interviewed in 2021. Um, again, if you haven't seen these, they are recorded and on the member portal. Um, they all share their Healing Touch journey um, and very interesting interviews. I thoroughly enjoy doing them. Um, and so I want to thank all of these people for taking the time to allow us to interview them and for them to share their story. Under community, we have the virtual book club. And again, Amelia and Diane um, lead that group. This is uh, the reading list from the 2021 virtual book club. If you haven't seen these, they are also recorded. Um, and you know, if you haven't read these books yet, this list is also in the annual report. Um, and so you can access this list there um, if you're wanting to read some of these books. Whoops, hang on, sorry, I jumped. Okay, under community, we also have virtual chapter and Megan Passmore is the virtual chapter lead. Um, so there are two meetings a month. There's the first Tuesday, which has a presenter. And then the third Tuesday, which is a technique discussion or practice. So this is the list from the first Tuesdays um, of the month where we had all of these people do a presentation for our virtual chapter um, and Megan helps coordinate all of that. So I also wanna thank all of these people that volunteered their time to um, do a presentation for our virtual chapter and share techniques and tools and modalities um, with us. Um, these are also recorded and available on the member portal. So uh, we have lots of local chapters spread out. Um, we had a total of 53 in 2021, and we had three new chapters start in 2021. Five of those are international, and of the 53, 35 of them are practice groups. Um, and so you can see how um, they're all over. And I will be sharing more information again about how to find information about these chapters, if you'd like to join them, or if you'd like to start your own. Um, so HTPA liability insurance. So in 2021, we had 613 HTPA members that had our liability insurance through our partnership, um, EMPA. And starting in February, 2022, um, we switched over to having insurance through HTPA. Um, and we did that to make it a little easier for folks so that you don't have to have two different accounts. Now you can have your HTPA membership linked with your liability insurance. Um, and currently we have over 40% of our HTPA members that have the HTPA insurance. So now we're going to do our first breakout session, and this is the purpose of this is really just to get to know each other. Um, we're going to be in this space for about 10 minutes. Um, these are just some suggestions. You can share your name and where you live. Um, if you're a student, perhaps what um, Healing Touch level you're at and plans for continuing on. If you're a practitioner, do you have your own practice or how do you use Healing Touch in your work? Um, and of course, anything else that you wish to share with your fellow community members. So I am going to 
stop sharing. And I'm also going to stop the recording and restart it when we come back. Welcome back everyone from your breakout session. I hope you all enjoyed getting to know each other a little bit, hopefully meeting some new people or perhaps connecting with people you already know. Um, so I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. So I wanted to just go over a little bit um, our new membership levels. So these started in February of 2022. Um, we did it this way to help give you all options um, and really paying for the services and programs that you want access to. So we have um, the first level, which is the support membership level that includes the togetherness calls. Then we have the community membership, so that's uh, the togetherness calls, and it also is virtual chapter, virtual book club, and self-care programs. Both the support and community membership levels can pay a small fee to access um, some of the energy education or business support programs. So they get to kind of choose which ones they, they want to access. Um, then we have our professional membership. So that's going to be access to all that HTPA has to offer. Um, so all of our calls, all of our chapters, um, all of our energy education and business support programs. Um, and then we have the insurance level. So that's going to be the professional membership plus insurance. Um, and within the insurance level, there's three different levels of, mem of insurance. Um, and so you get to choose which insurance, you know, is appropriate for your business. Um, this is the energy education webpage. Um, so you see the blue and purple heart up above. Um, so that's to signify the blue heart is professional level membership and the purple is insurance level membership. Um, and so those will be the folks that have access to this. Um, but if you go to your member portal and you click at the top that energy education, this will take you to all the recordings that we have in this category. Um, so all the healer development series calls, those are all here. Um, virtual chapter is here. We have virtual chapter in two areas. Um, so we have it here. I'll show you where it is also under um, community. Um, and all of the energy education programs that we've done, those are all recorded and saved here. Um, so that's where you can access those. Our business support webpage, again, this is um, the for professional and insurance members. Um, you can click business support at the top there, and that takes you again to all the recordings that we have related to business support. Um, under business support, we have technology for your practice. Um, so this is where you'll find those articles that Holly Kyle does for us, um, as well as the recorded Ask Anything tech calls. Um, so for example, she just did um, a, a call that was on Zoom. Um, and so she kind of gave some information on Zoom and then people ask questions. So that's recorded and that, that gets posted here. And then the community web pages. So if you go to the home page, um, you scroll down, you have a whole section here called connect with community. Um, and so this is where you'll find member in the spotlight recordings, the book club recordings, also virtual chapter, the member directory is here, um, information on our members only Facebook page and, and how to access that. And then there's also community connection. You'll find information on the togetherness calls and just some other um, community kind of programs in that section there. We also have the self-care webpage. Um, so again, you can click up top to self-care and that'll take you to, there's recordings on there, there's self-care materials, um, and we're always adding stuff in there. So um, take a look at that if you haven't already. Um, and then our event calendar. So I like to just 
remind everyone that we have an event calendar. You can access it either through our public page, htprofessionalassociation.com, or within your member portal. Um, and so everything that we do gets posted in this event calendar. So if you miss an email and you want to register for something or find that event again, you could always come to the event calendar and you can register through here. You can find out what's what's up and coming. Um, and so that's a good resource as well. So HTPA survey, um, we had such great feedback come through the survey that we just did um, a couple months ago. Um, we had 198 respondents, 27% were students, 22% are other, and 51% either have a private practice or integrate healing touch in healthcare. Um, practitioners biggest challenges that were mentioned were technology, getting clients, and advertising. Um, students biggest challenges that were mentioned were time, finding clients, and confidence. There were lots of great ideas on speakers, on topics for future events. Um, and so I'll be taking a really close look at those suggestions and seeing how we can bring those to light in our programs. There were also suggestions on new marketing trainings, um, such as advertisements, um, and so we'll also be taking that feedback and, and seeing how we can um, incorporate that in our programs. And the most popular technology topic that was chosen was how to use YouTube. And so that's something we're going to look at as well. So under virtual community, um, this is the percentage of people that find these programs valuable. Um, so the virtual chapter for the first Tuesdays, the presentations that we do, 52% find that valuable. Um, for the third Tuesday, technique, discussion, practice, 45% find that valuable. Um, the virtual book club and togetherness calls, um, both of them show that 29% find those valuable. Member in the spotlight was our biggest one with 64% find those valuable. And then the crisis relief meditations that we periodically send out, 56% um, find that valuable. Under our energy education, um, the percentage that find these programs valuable, healer development was our top one at 79%. Um, and then the energy education programs that are hosted by HTPA and ENPA, 78% find those valuable. And then our self-care programs, 77 find that valuable. Under business support, um, technology for your practice articles, 42% um, find those valuable. Um, our ask anything tech calls, 30%. And then our business support programs that are hosted by HTPA and EMPA, 38% find those valuable. 67% find HTPA liability insurance valuable. I find that number interesting just because we only have about 40% of our members that have the HTPA insurance. Um, so I wanna take a closer look at, at that. Um, and then 17% find the HTPA grants valuable. And again, I'll be going over how you can access those grants. Our overall rating from the survey was 4.5. And these are all kind of a list of our plans of programs kind of looking forward. Um, so we plan to continue the monthly healer development series. Um, that seems to be our most popular um, program right now. We get a lot of participation um, and positive feedback from those. So we plan to continue that. Um, planning to continue the monthly togetherness calls as well as the bi-monthly virtual chapter meetings with the once a month having a presenter and then once a month having a technique discussion or practice. Um, our monthly virtual book club meetings, technology for your practice with Holly, um, still doing the monthly articles and then the quarterly ask anything calls, um, continuing the monthly member in the spotlight series, continuing to add self-care programs to that member portal page, um, that self-care page, continuing our guest presenters that we do either on energy education or on business support, building our local chapters, 
And then the Healing Touch Journey Series, we have started it. So we've done the mentorship call. Um, the certification call is coming up in the beginning of August. And then we'll be scheduling out the recertification and instructor certification. Um, but basically, that series is about talking about the process of each of those um, and allowing a space for people to come and ask questions that are going through those um, so that we can help support them in their in their journey. Um, and then continuing the liability insurance through HTPA. So for anyone on this call that is not a member yet, um, you can become a member by going to our main um, page, htprofessionalassociation.com. And up at the top right, you just see that join now, you would click that and an application comes up. You can then see the different membership levels um, and choose which one is, is best for you. Um, and that's how you can join. As far as how to start or find a local chapter, so that's also on our public page, um, htprofessionalassociation.com, and you click chapters, and once you click that, a little drop-down menu comes up, and you can choose either if you want to find a chapter, um, and when you click find a chapter, a whole list of chapters comes up, um, and so you'll see their location, who the contact is, um, what their focus is, and so you can kind of um, go from there as far as um, connecting with that chapter. Um, or if you want to create a chapter, you can then click create a chapter, a form pops up and you fill that out with your chapter name and description. It then comes to us, we review it, and then um, we approve you and um, you'll get a letter with some information and um, kind of support for you. Most of our chapters historically are based on geographic location, so the city, state, um, but I would also want to say it doesn't have to be that way, especially now since everything is virtual. Um, you can have a virtual chapter that maybe is not really focused on geographic location. Maybe it's more on a specific topic. Maybe it's about those that work with end of life or maybe it's a chapter for those of you that are nurses. Um, and so just wanna throw that idea out there if that's something you're interested in starting. Um, feel free, you'd go through it the same way as far as creating a chapter this way. Um, and we're here to help, help support you. We also have grants. Um, now that more things are opening up, um, these may be um, something to look at to use if you are um, serving the military or if you are doing an exhibit um, and having a table at an exhibit. Um, there's these grants that are available for anyone that is at least level three or higher. You don't have to be an HTPA member. Um, and you just go here. There's an application you fill out. Um, and then we then can send you materials um, to help support you. We have a referral program and um, pretty simple. Basically you refer your friends to the HTPA website to become a member. Um, and then they can write your name on their application. Um, they do need to select the professional level membership in order for it to qualify for you to earn your credit. Um, but all they do is they write your name in that referral line, and then you get a $10 credit in your HTPA account. Um, and you can use that credit, you can save it for when your renewal comes up, um, you can use it for uh, an HTPA program that has a fee. Um, and so it's a great way for you to get a little thank you for referring um, and for us to continue to build our community. So how you can help HTPA, spreading the word about the benefits of being an HTPA member, um, contacting us about topics and speakers you'd like to see um, and or have connections with. Contact us if you're interested in or would like to nominate someone for a member in the Spotlight series. And we do now have a nomination form that is in the member portal under Member in the Spotlight. It's 
It's at the very top of the page. So you can um, click on that, a form pops up, you can fill out the information with contact information. You can nominate yourself. Um, so please feel free to, to do so. Um, contact us if you are um, a current or retired um, certified practitioner or instructor, and you'd like to be on a future healer development panel. And I'm gonna be sharing my email address um, on the last slide, so you'll have that and you can contact me that way. Um, participate in surveys we send out to solicit feedback. That is um, kind of our way to make sure our programs are meeting your needs. Um, and so filling, completing those is really helpful. Joining our members only Facebook group um, to help communicate with other members. That group is a private group, so it is different than our public HTPA Facebook page. Um, and you can just search for us. Um, you can find the link to it, like I showed you on the member portal. Um, and then you can request to join the group, and then I'll, I'll add you to it. And then continuing to spread your love and healing light into the world. So I'd like to open it up for questions. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second here. Uh, let's see, stop sharing. I'm gonna also not try to unspotlight myself. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so now we can see everybody. Um, and just want to open it up for any questions that you have. You can feel free to unmute yourself and ask, or you can write it in the chat box. Um, not to discourage questions, but however long it takes for questions will then mean how much time we have left to do our little breakout session to exchange healing touch treatments. Um, just want to be transparent about our time. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions that I can help answer? Yes, uh, Nicole, yes, Casimir Nicole. speaking. Um, I, how do I do a chat? Because <laughs> if I click on the chat, then, uh, um, well, let me, can I do that now? If I click on chat, yeah, if you click on chat, you should have a little box that pops up to the right of your screen. Is it the show chat previews? No, I guess not. Okay, well, I do chat. You just click on the big chat icon and then the pop-up chat comes up on the right and then you can just type in into that. I believe... Okay, I, I'm I'm not getting it. At the bottom, I have chat. It tells me I'm. Oh, there it is. Okay, and then uh, okay. So I write something in there, and uh, they don't have a save. You just see it as I write. Um, once you type, you have to hit enter, and that'll send your message. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That was so easy. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Yes. Hi. Thank you so much, Christine. You just do such a fabulous job. I'm loving it. Oh, thank and you. My, I am renewing my RN license in three months, and I have been challenged, especially the last couple of years, in finding energy-based healing touch that counts for healing touch renewal because I am a certified practitioner and I like to get, I love getting all of my continuing education in energy type medicine that counts for the renewal. And I'm really challenged doing that. Do we have more plans for continuing education topics? Um, yes, there is. We do. We have recently talked more about that. Um, and I will definitely make a note about your um, kind of challenge there just so that we bring that to light again to just see how we can help help meet that. Um, yes, but it is something that I think we can continue to explore to see how we can make it, you know, offer more things like that that'll that'll help. 
Yeah. Right. And part of it is I'm not really willing to travel. I'm not wanting to be out in public that much yet to go to the the seminars, which I'm happy to see are coming back live again. So if Healing Touch, when we do those seminars and and programs and conventions can uh, unpackage them into components that are purchasable, that's welcome as well. Okay. All right. And just to clarify, are you talking about um, CEs for your RN license or... Yes, that count both for RN and um, certification renewal continuing education in energy medicine. Okay. Um, Yeah, that part I'm not sure as far as specifically for RN for certification for healing touch, you know, that that's more my area and that's more what we are trying to, you know, offer and and look at. Um, But I will definitely make a note of your your comment and see if there's anything we could do to help support that. Thanks. I like to kill two birds with one stone. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Patty. Yeah, I just want to echo again, Christine. Yes, you're doing a great job pulling this all together. I really appreciate all that and um, all of the comments about the website. I need further help on that. So thank you for bringing all that up. Um, I wanted to agree with Catherine. I've also had trouble finding courses, CEU courses in energy medicine for recertification. I'm not an RN, so I don't, I'm not worried about that part, but it do, there doesn't seem to be a lot out there. And what is out there, it seems to be a duplication of what we're already doing. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of money doing that. But yeah, if Healing Touch is doing that, that would be great. Um, But my question is about practice groups. Um, You made a comment earlier in the meeting, something about uh, practice groups and chapter groups. And the practice group I belong to does not want to be a chapter group. So is there another place where those are being tracked or is that just something you're thinking about? Um, So it's, you know, there are, I'm sure there is groups that are meeting that don't want to officially be an HTPA chapter. Um, the only criteria for um, a chapter lead for a local chapter is that they need to be an HTPA member. Um, oh. so just just the lead has to be an HTPA member. Um, okay. But it can be open. So we do have chapters where the lead is an HTPA member, but the people that come to the chapter meetings and participate may or may not be part of HTPA. Um, and so that is an option. Okay. Thank you for explaining that. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Patricia. I was wondering if I I missed a a notice or something that did, did we decide to drop the um, accreditation process that we had been pursuing to get our accreditation back? And if it was, I didn't ever see a notice about that. That, that 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 was no longer you know being worked on i am not i don't have enough information to answer that question for you um but i will make a note about that there is there is confusion about that um and see how we can help clarify okay Anybody else have a question? Oh, um, yes. I, 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 I just heard the, the last two ladies speak. Um, so what is the difference between recertification and re-accreditation? Is that the same? No. Okay. Um, and recertification, right, is, is recertifying your license mm-hmm. sure, um, or your certification. Um, the accreditation is is a different, um, it, it doesn't have to do with the individual, right? Okay. It has to do with the program itself. Okay. Yeah. It's a mini call. Yes. Uh, I have a question about the uh, insurance. Um, I've always uh, used uh, NSO so far because they cover every, everything I need. When I try to uh, uh, s- 
switch to the um, healing touch insurance, um, I couldn't because they were not cover covering the work of RNs. Is that still true? Yes, our insurance is for energy medicine. Um, and there are there is a list of different types of energy medicine and there's lots yeah. of modalities um, there, but um, a nursing would not be one of them. Okay, just wanna make sure I didn't fall between the cracks. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm not seeing any other questions. So um, I would love to break you all out into groups um, where you can exchange healing touch treatments. I see some people jumping off that um, probably have somewhere else they need to be. It's, um, but I was hoping you all could be in this space for about 15 minutes. Um, and I'm going to be putting you in smaller groups than you just were in. So um, probably groups of like three um, so that you all can just exchange a little self-care. Um, so let's see. Okay, so it looks like I can do groups of two or three. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create those groups and you'll be here for about 15 minutes and then I will bring you back and close the meeting. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed a little self-care from each other. I see lots of smiles. Yay. Okay. Um, share my screen one last time. Um, so I just want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for your participation in today's annual meeting, for your support of HTPA, for your service and the healing that you bring to the world, and for sharing your heart, your knowledge, and your skills with our community. I look forward to another year of serving you. I am going to copy and paste my email address um, into the chat box. Please feel free to email me with any feedback, any questions, any way that we can continue to help support you. Um, I love hearing from you. So please feel free to shoot me an email. And um, I will just close with a final quote that I also put in the annual report. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And that's from Margaret Mead. Thank you all again for being here. So nice to see you all. And I hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye, thank you. Thank you, thank you.